In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, simple, small card using the brand new JND 410 Sam's Baubles. Now in the Sam's Baubles set, you get three round bauble inserts, and these will match with other circular inserts that are coming in this and the rest of the Christmas collections for 2023, as well as a bauble outer die and the little crown for the top. And the bauble has been sized to match with later products coming from the press cut and the 2J range, as well as to match in with these and others in the John Next Door collection. So those are the dies we're going to use. And this is the card that we're going to start with. And the finished dimensions of this card are quite simple. It's a six by six, but you could easily pop this on a five by five card as the central panel is only five by five inches. So... We're going to start with a piece of coconut white card that's been cut to four and a half by four and a half inches. And we're simply going to use the outer bauble on this top layer and place it evenly in the centre of the card. Use a little bit of the Craft Artist Low Tack tape to tape that die down. And we simply run that through our die cutting machine. And once we have that, we will have this panel and this panel is beautiful and flat and it just has the bubble shape in it but we want to add a little bit of texture and dimension into it so for this i'm using the snowfall embossing folder from the john next door collection and i'm just going to drop that into the center and i'm simply going to run that through and emboss that which will give us this piece here. And hopefully you can see you've got that beautiful embossed snow pattern. And what we need to do next now is to put the detail of the bauble in. So I've got a piece here of Craft Artist Gold Gloss card to work. But if you can see the beautiful shine we get off the lights from that. And this has been cut a little bit sl sl smaller. So this has been cut at three and three quarters by three and three quarters so that it doesn't show through the front. And we simply place our bauble top over the top. And I'm going to use this insert. And this is one of the leaping stag inserts that come in the set. And this has a beautiful strip across the middle with the stags leaping. And then holly, which is based on the Helen's holly die, which is in this collection, at the top and the bottom. So we place that where we want that to be. We simply again take a piece of the low tack tape. Once we're happy where that is, we lift off the bauble and we put it there. And you can see why we use the bauble, as your temptation would be to put it in the centre and it wouldn't fit correctly. And then all we do, again, is to run that through our die cutting machine and die cut that. And that will give us this beautiful panel that we have here with the detail showing. So we need to put something behind this. And it's great on this die set to actually use, utilise this little bit here of the stripe. So I've cut a little strip of card and I've cut this to, and again, we'll check with our measurements. So we'll take our rule and I've cut this to an inch and a quarter, which is invariably what most of my die sets need. And I've put foam tape around the back of this. So I'm just going to reveal the foam tape really simply, just like this. And I'm going to take the stripe and put it so that it goes over this central panel. Leave a little bit hanging each side, but you can see there the white now is going over the central panel. So I'd simply take my scissors and from the front, just snip off the excess that's showing through. I've then got a piece of Craft Artist glitter card in gold again, cut to the same size. And we just pop that on from the back. So you can see there we have that beautiful glitter top and bottom and the white stripe. I'm going to take the panel that we've cut with the bauble and I'm simply going to take off the foam tape. And what I've done is I've put foam tape just to support in the four corners, because this is quite a lot we've cut out of the card. Although the Craft Artist Essential card has so much strength, it's not really that necessary, but it just helps that little bit to make sure nothing dips. 
and the amount of foam tape on this card still means that it can be posted as a regular card. It doesn't need to be a large letter. So we simply take that, find the exact match to get a nice even border all the way around. And we simply place that down just like that so that we've got then our bauble hanging. And all we need to do then is to take the crown die that comes in the set and we simply cut a crown piece to fit into there. So here we have the crown die that's been cut with a little scrap of the same glitter card. And I'm just going to shape that in my hands to give it a little bit of a curve. I'm going to take a little bit of glue gel as it's easier to stick it with that and take a little bit of glue gel off with a cocktail stick and pop that into the center of that bauble crown. We close up our glue gel. I'm going to take my tweezers and pop that into place. So we just pop that in, little press in the center, get that nice and even. You can see now you've got that beautiful rounded panel, really, really simple and really, really easy. So the final step of this, I've got a card blank here, which is six by six. So I've simply matted onto here a piece of coconut white in four and three quarters. And then we have a gloss gold layer at an extra eighth on that. So basically four and sort of seven eighths really. And then we have a glitter card panel at five inches, all onto an A6 card blank. And we'd simply then take a little bit of our glue and I would use a wet glue for this just to make sure it's stuck properly down. So we'll use our wet glue, nice and easy. And we can put that in the center, just there. And our final finishing touches is to add a few little pearls or pearl drops. I'm using the new Pearl Dimension from Craft Artist in white. So I'm just going to put a little bit there in the centre where that holly is, a little bit in the centre where the snowflake is, and again, a little bit in the centre there. And if you wish to balance it, you can just put a little pearl drop on the four corners just to balance out the pieces that you've done. If you don't have the pearl dimension, then you can use some stick-on pearls, but I do find that a little bit easier and it dries very, very quickly. And there is our finished card, quite a simple, nice five by five inch card made using the JND 410 Sam's Bauble dies. For more hints, tips, ideas and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John next door on Crafts 2 group on Facebook. Enjoy. Thank you.